show, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, you know my next guest as the president from The President Show on Comedy Central. Please welcome Anthony Atamanik. Thanks for coming back. See you. Thanks for having me. What do you What do you have in your hand? I suspect I know what you have in your hand right there. So one day I'm doing a rewrite in the office, which is your former office. The the show, the president show on Comedy Central. Yes. You use the building we used to use for the Colbert Report. Yes. And you're in a nice office, isn't it? In a it? beautiful office. My old office. It's yeah. It's a yeah. shower, everything. Yeah, I remodeled that. I remodeled you did that. The yeah, yeah. Yourself? Well. <laughs> Sure. The tile work is good. Yeah, thanks very much. So I look up and I see this red thing, this loop. We have a sword that my executive producer gave me. You have a sword in your office? Yes, that says truth on one side and satire on the other. And That's so. Super pretentious. It is. <laughs> blame, blame JD Yamada. And uh, so he gave it to me, so it hangs over the bar. And so I took the you have, sword. Wait, you have a bar in your <laughs> office? I didn't have a bar in my office. I got an espresso, too. What? Can I even say that? Can you say espresso? I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> but yeah, I have an espresso. Oh, I have all kinds of wonderful things in there. Wow. I have plants. I have a sofa. Oh, I had that. I have floors. Uh -huh. So I take the sword, and I put it up in the ceiling, and down comes this wrist strong. Oh, bracelet. okay, okay. So it's strong. open rafters. It's open wood rafters. Yeah. And I used to sit there at my desk when I should have been working and I would shoot <laughs> these wrist strong bracelets There's up a lot into the of rafters. Them up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I didn't work a lot. And, yeah. oh, I and I'll put this, that. I'll put this on. There you go. Boy, I haven't yeah. worn one of those in a few years. Strong. Wrist strong bracelets. Thank I, you. May I keep this? Yeah, of course. Oh, thank you very much. I'm clearing it all out. I got your old mail. I got a bunch of stuff to give you. You do what I haven't seen any other Trump uh, people do, people who portray uh, the president for a living. Is you go out into the field, like you go out to field pieces oh, as yeah. the president. Yeah. Does that confuse people? Because let me give a sense to the people out there. Just, it's a pretty damn good impression of the president. Yeah. And what happens? What happens? Oops. That's okay. What happens when you go outside? <laughs> <laughs> what happens when you go outside? Do people ever mistake you for him? Oh, yeah. I mean, one thing I'll say being him is that to be in him would be that most people laugh at you and point. That's like his experience, I'm presuming. Because people from afar are just like, ha, 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 boo! Like, that's his whole life, I think. So, <laughs> it's a really and sad... And they boo? Oh, people boo. You get and, and... Do you think that they're booing him or do they not enjoy your show? Oh, I think a, a mix of both. Mix of both? Okay. <laughs> no, uh, we're very popular. Um, I think we were at the Queens Center Mall. We were at a mall uh, filming on Friday, uh, this, this piece. And um, so I'm dressed as Trump, and it was uh, out in the field. And yeah. we have security, and the security is sort of like Secret Service. And I'm walking around, and uh, in a moment, this... I feel this like impact into my head that is very strong and made like a, like an even more hollow knock than that. And uh, it turns out someone had hucked a jawbreaker at my head. And like a candy, a big candy. A big candy. And I have a very lumpy head, so one of the lumps is legit. Uh, from that. Why did, did this person think you were? They thought I was Trump or I provide a sense of catharsis for people, and I, and, I, and I accept that. If you see this person who you sort of can't stand, or they represent oppression, or white supremacy, or all the other draconian, awful things that he represents, um, then you're, you're most likely... You could clap more for that. What a pimp. Huge fans of oppression. Huge fans. Huge fans of white supremacy here. Yes, you yeah, clap more for white supremacy. <laughs> Come on, give it up! And, um... <laughs> it's our turn! Uh, give it up! Um, but, yeah, I think that people sort of see that, and even if it's the icon of it, it's a way for them to let it out. That's like the interviews on, on our show are very similar. They're people having catharsis. I always tell the guests I'm a therapy dummy. So, like, at the oh, beginning, oh. have at me. Yes. Like, Get sure. out what you want. Show which... me on my body where the president touched <laughs> Touch you. you. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I think we... We know. We know. I think we know. We know. We know. 
Now you got the Christmas special. I'm a huge fan of Christmas specials. Oh, I love them. Uh, okay, it's called... I came up with Christmas, a president show Christmas special. <laughs> what, what is your idea? What's your idea of Donald Trump's idea of a Christmas special? Oh, it's a mix of Hope Crosby, you know, Bing Crosby specials, Dean Martin specials. I thought Olymp you meant actual hope. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Despair. Um, <laughs> But we have singing, we have sort of like ham-fisted sketches, like, you know, nativity sketches and some field pieces and uh, we, Christmas tree decoration, special guests bursting in and a lot of song. So it's all those good things. We have a clip a here. Uh, uh, there's a clip here where yes. uh, Peter Gross is playing Mike Pence. Right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Peter Gross is Mike Pence, who yeah. used to he used, used to be a writer show. for me. Great guy. And he's incredible, Mike Pence. Yeah. And this is part of one of our uh, remote pieces where Trump has decided he doesn't like that Santa gets so much attention, and he <laughs> wants to be the focus. Okay. Okay. Jim. That's enough, Batman. I'm the one everyone's supposed to like, and you're not gonna take that away from me. Should we go or do shut you... up, Mike? No, You're gonna no, get no, no, no. naked. You're being very naughty. I'll show you. Very, Something very naughty. naughty. You wanna see naughty? I think it probably would be best if we just uh... send him to Guantanamo. Yeah, take him. Just give him what he wants. Take him. All right, all right, all right. Take it off. Nice and slow, so I can see everything. No. You know that doesn't. That's not part of it, though. The slow part. It is part. for me, Mike. Okay. It is for me. <laughs> so it's for the whole family. Oh, it's for the, it's whole, for the whole family. family. Well, Anthony, Thank good to you. see you again. Thank Congratulations you. on the show. Appreciate it. I came up with Christmas, a president show Christmas special. Premieres November 30th on Comedy Central. Anthony Tamanick, everybody. We'll be right back with journalist John Avalon.